Hi, I'm Russell Warren, the chief scientist at Riot IQ. I'm here to talk to you about intelligence tests. An intelligence test is a scientific instrument designed to measure people's cognitive abilities. The first successful scientific intelligence test was created by Alfred Binet and Theodore Simon in Paris in 1905. In the 120 years since then, intelligence tests have improved to become one of the greatest achievements in the social sciences. Today, intelligence research is one of the strongest, most replicated areas in all of psychology. Most intelligence tests produce an overall score called IQ. This is a global measure of how well the examinee can solve problems, and that problem-solving ability is the core of what intelligence is. Many tests also produce scores that measure narrower cognitive abilities. For example, the riot produces scores for verbal reasoning, visual spatial ability, working memory, processing speed, and reaction time. These other scores can help identify an examinee's strengths and weaknesses and provide more detail and nuance than an overall IQ score can. Still, IQ as a global score is an important piece of information about a person's mental functioning. IQ scores correlate with many different life outcomes. Generally, more intelligent people are healthier, perform better in school, have better career outcomes, have less criminal behavior, and are less likely to engage in impulsive acts. They even get in fewer car accidents. It's because IQ is associated with so many life outcomes that it is relevant. IQ can help colleges select the best students, employers hire the best applicants, researchers study cognitive abilities, psychologists build cognitive profiles for individuals, and so much more. On the one hand, creating an intelligence test is easy. Almost every task that requires some sort of cognitive effort will measure intelligence to some degree. However, the challenge is assembling tasks into a test that measures intelligence well and produces scores that are scientifically reputable. That is a complicated process. In short, it requires using intelligence theory to build and select tasks, create a pool of test questions for each task, and testing them out on increasingly representative samples. The final sample is called the norm sample and its data is used to select the final set of questions for a test and create a scoring system. The norm samples data can also be used for other analyses, such as screening items for bias. The RIOT team has followed this general outline in creating the RIOT, and we are committed to meeting every professional standard for test development. In contrast, most online intelligence tests have been created by people who have no training in psychology or test development, and there is no evidence that they have followed professional practices of test development. Even the online tests developed by psychologists do not have representative norm samples, which limits the usefulness of the test scores. Some people are skeptical about intelligence testing, saying that the tests just reveal who is a good test taker or that the tests are culturally biased. These claims are not correct. People who perform better on intelligence tests tend to have higher academic achievement, better job performance, and better physical health. The tests also correlate with many variables in the brain, such as brain size and neuron density. If the tests only measure test-taking ability, then the scores wouldn't correlate with any of these things. Additionally, we do not need to worry about bias in professionally developed tests because the standards for the field for decades have required test creators to screen tests for item and test bias. We have followed these guidelines in creating the RIA. There are some great resources to learn more about intelligence tests. I wrote the book, In the Know, Debunking 35 Myths About Human Intelligence, as an introduction for the public. The books Intelligence, All That Matters by Stuart Ritchie and Intelligence, A Brief Introduction by Ian Deary are short introductions to intelligence that can be read in a single day. People looking for an in-depth treatment of intelligence should read The Science of Human Intelligence by Richard J. Heyer, Roberto Colomb, and Earl Hunt, or IQ and Human Intelligence by N.J. McIntosh. There are also technical treatments in the books The Neuroscience of Intelligence by Richard J. Heyer and The G-Factor by Arthur Jensen. At Riot IQ, we have articles about intelligence, and on our social media accounts, we share interesting research about the topic. 
So please follow us on social media or visit Riot IQ regularly so that you can learn more about human intelligence and intelligence testing.